day, people. Or good evening. I don't know when you're watching this. All right, another week. I'm in between storms. This month. I'm in between storm number one and storm number two. There's three of them on their way, and each one is stronger than the previous. So I left Quartzsite, Arizona. I'm on my way northeast to Santa Fe, Ski Santa Fe, New Mexico. We're going to try to get in two days of snowboarding here. This morning, there's still in a blizzard morning up there, but there, it's an eight-hour ride for me to get there. So I think if I, I'll get there, GPS is saying 7.30 tonight without any stops. So I'll definitely get up there, and you know, I'm sure they'll have the roads all cleared by then. Um, and then tomorrow looks good, and then, which is Tuesday, uh, Wednesday evening or Wednesday afternoon, storm number two is supposed to be coming in, dumping another eight to ten inches of snow. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I'm hoping to get two days in on the slope. Um, I got enough water, I got enough food here, so if I get stuck up there, no problem. Uh, but I can come back down. I, the, the, the city of Santa Fe is like 30 or 40 minutes from the ski, ski area, so as long as I can get down off the mountain, I can, I can spend the night in Santa Fe. There's like two Walmarts there, there's all the shopping malls, I mean, it's a pretty good sized city size city, not, not like Phoenix. Um, so, I think it'll work out. I do not want to be there for, for storm number three. They're talking not inches, they're talking feet of snow. So, I, I don't think I'll want to be up there for that one. Um, yeah, so I see I'm entering uh, probably a little Northwest of Phoenix now. I'm, I'm, I'm in this big valley here, and the mountains ahead of me, to right where that car is, over the roof of that car, all the tops of those mountains are white. So I'm entering, I'm getting further enough north where I'm entering that cold, snowy winter zone. And in Arizona, they, the northern Arizona gets buried in snow. Uh, in southern Arizona, that's pretty nice down here in the desert. So, uh, I, I, I don't know of any ski areas here. There's one northeast of Phoenix, but they're only open on weekends, so I don't want to go there. Um, and they don't really have a lot of snow. I think they have an 8-inch base, that's it, so I don't want to go there. Uh, so I'm going to go further north, just over the water into New Mexico. I mean, I'm not that far into New Mexico, but I'm going to be in the mountains. Well, Santa Fe, look it up on the map. Um, so I'll let you know how things are going, but uh, yeah, those mountains are pretty white over there ahead of me. <laughs> so, uh, we're, getting, we're getting closer to the uh, snow zone. Alright, I'll let you know how I do.
17 from Phoenix up to Flagstaff. Uh, very impressive. This is this is this is quite a highway. Uh, well, impressive as far as the scenery goes. Yeah, this is. Uh, uh, I'm getting to fall in love with Arizona. I really, really like it. Although I'm not here in the summer, so I probably would not be in this frame of mind in July and August yet. But January and February, yeah, I like it here. Wait till you see this. I mean, this is. Oops, not here. Coming up on a pass. I'm climbing. Oh, I'm gonna get around this tanker. I'm climbing over this.
already talking up this next storm. I just got a weather report. Blizzard warnings for the coast of Oregon and Washington State. So they're getting hit today. It will be here in two days. So I'm thinking I might just stay up here. You know, I'll hunker down in Santa Fe somewhere, uh, one of the parking lots. I'll just hunker down and sit it out. The third one I want to, I don't know if I want to be around for the third one. That one, that one, they're talking four feet, four to five feet of snow. So I don't know. <laughs> that may be a little too much for me. I don't know. We'll see. I'm definitely going to, I think I'm going to get a snow shovel this afternoon. I don't have, all I have is my regular spade shovel for, you know, if I get stuck in the sand or the mud. But I think I'm going to stop at Home Depot or a hardware store and I'm going to get myself an aluminum snow shovel. Yeah, and I'll just strap it up on the roof. Just in case I find myself stuck in one of these next two storms, I'll be able to at least shovel an area around me. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, it ought to be about 20 bucks, 25 bucks, you know. It won't be too bad, but... Um, Alright, we're coming down into this valley. Uh, what am I doing? I'm, just, I'm doing six, I'm doing 70 coasting down this thing. I'm not even, my foot's not even on the throttle. It's just, it's, it's just where, how steep it is. You can't tell with the video, but yeah, it's, we're coming down. Um, I'm 50 miles from Flagstaff, and then at that point, we got to go northeast into northern New Mexico. So, I haven't spent any time in Mexico other than on I-10 cutting across. So this will be a new territory for me coming up this afternoon. is down to 35 degrees so yeah and I'm seeing signs elk crossing so definitely hitting another uh, veg you know another zone climate zone vegetation zone um, you should see the mountains over here on my right look at look at that well it'll be a clearing in here in a minute hopefully uh, we're about ready to go down. You might miss it. Maybe I'll... Oh, right here. Unbelievable, the terrain here. Yeah. Excited <laughs> to, hit, to hit the. I'm getting 
excited to hit the slope. Yeah. Um, where are we? Flagstaff, 30, sign right here. Flagstaff, 34 miles. So once we pass Flagstaff, then we're going to really be getting into the uh, thick of it, I think, as far as terrain and getting into the, uh, the mountain range that comes down through Utah, Colorado, that whole area. This is the tail end of it that I'm going to be going up into. Uh, I'm just worried about tonight. Low tonight, 6 degrees. So, that's, you know, I'm sure that's why I got the van. We'll see. That's what I got it for, to take off in the winter. So, hopefully we don't have any issues like we did up in New England. are going now on all the mountains that I can see. Let me turn this around for you. All green pines now.
desert now, baby. We got like 40, 40 foot trees now. <laughs> and like maybe three inches of snow on the ground. Yeah, we're out, we're out of the desert. This reminds me of Northern New England. Northern New Hampshire, Maine. black ice here so they're going to keep an eye on it which is good. I'm going to follow him. Yeah, so I'm in I'm I'm just leaving Flagstaff now on I-40 heading as you saw east. Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm not going there. I'm not going that far. Barrel too early. It says I'm gonna get into uh, Santa Fe, ski Santa Fe, ski area at 9 p.m. tonight, my time. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be a late night, but I'm glad I'm coming in after dark. Maybe I can find a spot in the parking lot in the corner or something, and they won't kick me out. I'll be there for first, first uh, thing in the morning. Or I'll stay at the 
Walmart in Santa Fe. And then they said from, the, from there, in the 30, 35 minutes to the, to the ski slope. So I could do that if, if I get tired or if I'm running late. I can stop there and just leave like at 5 in the morning or something and head up to the mountain early. That's, a, that's another option. Alright, I'm going to show you this mountain over here on my left. Yeah, so Flagstaff, you do get snow here on Flagstaff, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Side trip. 
Oh, look at this place over here. Look at this. Look at these mountains. The hills. Um, that's interesting. So I'm in every, all the signs. I guess I'm in Navajo Indian area. This was their land. And I'm, I'm trying to visualize coming through here on my horse. <laughs> having them standing up, you know, sitting on their horse with their arrows on top of these uh, overlooks. Um, yeah, it's uh, when you go through this area, your mind kind of uh, starts to wander and you start thinking. But yeah, it's uh, interesting. Really, really interesting here. Oh, here's the border. All right, gonna slow down. Gonna get a gonna get a picture of this. About a hundred yards. There it is, entering New Mexico. What's their what's their uh, truth? That's their logo, truth. Okay. All right, another state I've never well, camped in. So this will be. I'll have to put the sticker on my map after this little trip. I, just driving through doesn't doesn't give you credit. You got to spend a couple of nights camping off off. That's my rule. A couple of nights camping off of uh, off grid. Uh, dispersed camping, and then I'll take credit for being in that state. All right. Look at these uh, mesas. I guess those are called mesas up there. Those flat areas on top of the uh, rises. Alright, why are these trucks slowing down? Maybe it's been going into this. Oh, it's icy, that's why. Oh, yeah. I can see the glaze on the road. The temperature's 28 degrees. Okay, we're not gonna... We're not gonna push it too hard here. I see ice on the right hand shoulder there, right right by that white line, I see it glittering. So uh, there's, there's a thin layer of ice on this road, so we're not going to uh, go too crazy here now. All right, I'm going to uh, let you go. Albuquerque's coming up. At that point, we had due north. scary right after like a minute earlier I just told her about how this road's got a glaze of ice on it and then I shut off the camera right after that an 18 wheeler going westbound on the opposite side went off the road and basically this 18 wheeler the tra the trailer split in half <laughs> Uh, he looked all right. I went by. He looked all right. It, it looked like it happened. Maybe it did happen right in front of me, but it did happen like within, I would say, 15 minutes. Um, there's no nobody there. He's sitting in the driver's seat. He looked all right. Um, he didn't hit anything, but he did jackknife. And then for some, I don't know how, but his his box, the trailer just split wide open and all of, all his contents are out on the median here. Um, so I don't know what happened there, but evidently he hit this patch of ice going too fast and it went right off the road. Carrying, you know, what, 80,000, I don't know how, 80,000 pounds, 
so they hit a patch of ice and they, you know, they, they go for a ride. Yeah. So what happened is this cut on it. Sheriffs, I don't know how, what they use out here, but just went by with their lights on going eastbound. I uh, know, westbound. Um, and then there was a huge one of those big wreckers, truck wreckers there, with his lights flashing. He just went by too, so yeah, he must have, uh, it must have just happened like within the last 15, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't know where they, where those rescue and, uh, officers are coming from, but, um, alright, so he looked alright though, he was sitting in his cab, he looked fine, the, uh, the tractor portion was fine, it was just his, he was jackknifed, and his, uh, and all his, his trailer busted open, so they're gonna have fun cleaning up that mess. Alright, the road dried out. For some reason, that stretch, two mile, three mile stretch, had a glaze of ice on it. It seems to be dried out right here, so. Alright, continuing on. Yeah, I guess they don't believe in salt and sand around here. This whole <laughs> slipping and sliding coming off the highway on these ramps. I don't, yeah, I don't see any salt. This is just melted from where? Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm keeping my truck topped off here. Uh, how can I, uh, how can I get in here? Oh, shoot. How do I get Make a U-turn if possible. They don't have a back gate. Yeah, right here. Please follow the road for one mile. Yeah, I'm trying to keep my truck topped off. Plus, I have to go to the bathroom, so I figure I'll do it all at once. Do that. Stay topped off, because if I get stuck somewhere, I want to make sure I have enough diesel for the heat. Please proceed to the highlighted route and then immediately turn left. for diesel. Not too, too bad. Oh, it's 26 degrees. I gotta put a couple of layers on, I think. <laughs> it's, it looks cold. Well, it is cold. 26 freaking degrees. We'll leave the truck running with the heat blasting. Alright, be back. What the hell was I thinking coming up here? <laughs> it's freaking cold. Oh shit, is it cold? Uh, Alright, so we're all topped off. I put uh, I put a gallon of uh, DEF fluid in my tank. I was running down a little bit, so now we have no more reserve. So in my travels tonight, when I go through Santa Fe, I'll pick up two and a half gallons at um, Walmart um, and then I just put a half a gallon or maybe a third a third of a gallon down my sink drain and put, ran that through my trap and everything made sure that um, we have no freeze ups down in my plumbing area so my my tank see here we gotta go east right here uh, so my gray water tank is well, like I said was empty but I never put any freeze in it but I did now I just did it now 
so we won't have to worry about that. I'm gonna now turn left onto I-40 East towards Albuquerque. Yeah, I know. So I'm not gonna use my sink. I have a couple of collapsible sink buckets, I guess you might want to call them. They're kind of they're rectangle. I picked up a, another one at the RV, uh, at the, uh, uh, what do they call that, at the, one of the tents yesterday or the day before, um, and I had one here, so I'm going to use those in my sink. I have a larger one and I have a medium one, and the larger one I'm going to put my used dirty water in there, and when it gets like three quarters full, I'm just going to dump it outside in a snowbank or something. I'm not going to use my uh, my holding tanks at all, because I do not want any issues. Um, so that's going to be my plan while I'm up here in the Arctic. Um, okay, so we're back on track. what I had to do. I still got my beanie on it. Thanks for uh, Aaron from Rome Rig. He gave me uh, one of his woolen hats this summer when I was up there and he did some work on my electrical system. He said, hey, you want some swag? I said, yeah. So he had t-shirts and I don't know, a sweatshirt and then he had these hats. So I grabbed, I think I grabbed a t-shirt and I definitely grabbed this hat. I said, I'll use the hat this winter. And yeah, so here it is, Aaron. Thank you very much. Um, so, turn this okay, so now our next major stop will be at, uh, where, what was it? Aberdeen, or I, I forgot the name of it. Um, not Aberdeen. Emily, I forgot. Anyway, uh, we're coming up to it. And then we're going to head due north. So I'm sure we'll get tonight's lower, like I said earlier, is going down to 6 degrees. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, look at my windshield. It's a mess. All right. Later. All right. We're on the mountain. We're clocked. It's not too bad. It's 9 o'clock. Nine, actually, 9.20. My time. Uh, let me turn this fan down a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, they got a lot of snow up here already. Look at the, look at the snow bank on the side of the road. I'm telling you, Santa Fe is not a friendly town. Every strip mall, every, you know, shopping plaza has security in it. Every one of them. I, I stopped in the Walmart to get some food, and the security came right up to me and told me I couldn't spend the night there. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm, I'm passing through. I'm just stopping here for food. He said, okay. I ended up talking to him for a while. He ended up being a nice guy. Um... So I'm going to try to stay at the ski slope, at the ski lodge up here. Santa Fe National Forest. All right, I just got in here. I'm sure all the roads are snowed in, so there won't be any boon, there won't be any, uh, yeah, boondocking down any fire roads here. All right, well, I'll let you know where I end up. I don't know where I'm going to be tonight. I may end up having to drive back down the mountain somewhere. I don't know. In, in a closed store somewhere, I don't know. Look at this bank, it's getting deeper and deeper here, uh, you know. Should be good, because they had blizzard warnings till about mid-morning this morning. They're still plowing all the parking lots down at the bottom here, or uh, a, little, a little ways coming up the mountain. Um, so this storm just kicked out of here earlier today. So, um, 
Yeah, it is. Uh, it should be good skiing. I see roads ahead. Chains or four-wheel drive. Well, here's a spot I could probably sleep right here. Oh, this is the state park. All right, there's a trailhead here. All right, so I can come down here. I can pull in there. Nobody will bother me here. They're not coming up here tonight. The rangers are not coming up here to throw me out, that's for sure. All right, so that, that's a spot there. I can get in there. It looked like about a foot and a half. I can get through that with four-wheel drive. But I'm going to try to stay right in the parking lot up here. So these are my, uh, this is my light bar on top. What, well, look at what it looks like without it. And huge difference. I mean, it just lights up everything. And I, I don't have the other high beams on that are down by in between my uh, headlights. Those are like 300,000 moves, some ridiculous number. <laughs> but I don't need those here. So that's when I'm out in the desert trying to light up everything. Here, I just need to stay on the road and look for a, look for a parking area on the side here or something. But that's a good possibility back there at that trailhead. And there's a couple of trailheads on this road because when I looked at Google Map, I was looking at where, if if the parking lot didn't pan out, where could I stay up here? And and there are several, at least three or more, like I said, trailheads. Although the higher I go deeper the snow's getting. Yeah, you see, there's no way I'll be able to pull it. Oh, maybe. Okay, yeah, I still got a ways to go. I got eight miles to go on this road. I'm still climbing. I wonder if this is one of those ski areas where you ski down in the lodge and everything is at the top. I, I skied a mountain like that somewhere. I don't recall. Somewhere in New England, you start at the top and you ski down. So you got to make sure at the end of the day you get that lift coming back up or you're stuck. Um, I'm wondering if this is like that. I couldn't tell on Google Map. I, I tried looking. I couldn't tell. So, I guess we'll see. Oh, still snowing. Or maybe it's coming off the trees. That could be too. No, it's snowing. Yeah, we got a little, little more snow. Oh, shit. Yeah, they're going to be plowing again here. We got about, looks to be about an inch and a half of fresh snow on the road here. What's that say? Little Cook, Black Canyon, camping. Yeah, I'm sure that's open. <laughs> yeah. Uh, although it would be awesome if they plowed out the campground up here. I'd pay. Yeah. Still climbing. Yeah, I, th I have a feeling I'm going to be skiing down. I better not miss that last call on, this, on, the, uh, on the, the lift coming back up. All right, what's this? Another trailhead up here. Okay. All right, that'll work. It's 18 degrees right now. Black Canyon Campground. Is this plowed? Is this open? No. Oh, no, it's not open. Yeah. Okay. Is this a gate? Is this 
a range station here? What is this? Welcome. Enjoy your stay. Alright, what's this all about? Oh, so I'm here. Okay, so where's your parking? High Memorial State Park. No, I guess I gotta keep going. Oh, this is the State Park entrance. Alright. So I guess we're gonna keep going. Somebody just pulled off there. Well, I don't know. There's a little cabin or something there. I don't know what that's all about. inching up this thing. Alright, I'll let you know where I end up. Oh, shit. I don't think anybody's been up here for a while. They may have closed this place today. The snow is drifting over the uh, road now. Yeah, there's no way that this place was open today. Yeah, the snow's getting thicker up here now. <laughs> it's about three inches of snow on the road now. I'm still in two-wheel drive. set of tracks here from a car or something is pretty narrow I don't know if they were coming down or if they're going if they had gone up They got dumped on up here. Look at this snowbank. It's got to be, it's over four feet high. How far? I still have six more miles to go? Are you kidding me? Check my watch. I just hit 10,000 feet. <laughs> oh, God, at least I'll be acclimated if I sleep up here.
down to 13 degrees already. The forecast was we're at the uh, at, this, at the lodge, the ski area. Low, uh, we just went down to 12. Uh, it was estimated at to be six degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So this is going to be six degrees. The low tonight, six degrees. My heater better not die tonight. I had issues with it a couple of nights ago. Still climbing. I got two and a half miles left to the end of this road or wherever I'm going here. I'm at uh, 11. I'm at 11,500 feet, my last check. So, and I'm still climbing, so we're probably going to be up at 12,000. That's why they have so much snow up here. One car maybe a mile back, it was like an SUV. They just pulled off to the side of the road and I don't know, I don't know if they're sleeping in there. I didn't see any tracks. I can't believe that they're out in the wilderness here snowshoeing. But um, my guess is they just this they just decided to park there. They were facing down, though they weren't. They weren't facing going up the mountain here. They were. They were coming towards me. So I don't know what the deal is there. All right, what do we have? Aspen Vista picnic ground. Yeah. All right. Another trailhead, but I'm not going to be pulling in that one. That's for sure. o'clock now. I hope I don't have to drive all the way back down. Looking at my GPS, it says I'm on the scenic Santa Fe National Scenic Byway. <laughs> oh yeah, it's scenic, all right. Yeah. You've been driving for a long time. Yeah, I've been Stand driving for a long time. Is right. I'm. I'm pushing 13 hours today. I, I think I left at 9 this morning. Look at this crap. But I kind of get into this. This is like, this is my lifestyle. This I like, I like doing stuff like this. So. Oh yeah. If I get stuck, I'll just wait for the plows. I know they plow up here because I can see the bank. So, and it's a numbered highway. This is a road. This is a numbered road. Uh, so, eventually they will come up here to make another pass and hopefully dig me out. Uh-oh. Well, what do we got here? A stranded car. Okay. He's been here a while. Anybody in there? Don't know. All right, he gave up. He just parked there. All right, we're gonna keep going. I'm still in two-wheel drive. 
I got so much weight. I, I weigh in at 10,000 pounds, so. And I got the KO2s, uh, snow and mud. So yeah, these, these, these tires, I am really, really happy so far. I mean, this is really putting it to the test. And two wheel drive, again, I'm gonna say it, two wheel drive. Visibility is getting pretty slim now. What do we have for height now? 11. Oh, yep, 11.5. Okay. Man, what's going on here? How far do I have? I got one mile to go. All right. this idea. Oh, somebody was in there and they shoveled, they, they had to shovel their way out. Huh. That's a trailhead, another trailhead. So I guess I could pull in there. We'll see. Hopefully this parking lot, or if they did some plowing up here earlier. Slow down. Oh, this does not look good here. What happened here? Oh, the plow's working. All right. They're plowing up here. That's a good sign. Oh, see, now I'll get kicked out. You watch. Yeah. Seven, seven tenths of a mile from wherever I'm going. <laughs> oh, I could pull off right here. This is a little, a little wide area. If this guy would let me. Oh, another car abandoned. Sure the plow drivers are not happy about this. Six hundred feet, turn right onto New Mexico four seventy-five. In five hundred feet, turn slight right and continue to follow New Mexico four seventy-five. I'm on New Mexico four seventy-five. Here's the ski area. Now turn slight right. Maybe I'll bribe this guy. If I'll say, hey, you wanna, you wanna hot chocolate? I'll make him a drink. <laughs> In 500 feet, go straight caution. Restricted access. Uh-oh. Restricted access. We know that. I'm waiting. I don't know how far I can go. All right, Mercedes. Can't. Hello, Mercedes. How can I help? Cancel routing. I don't need to Canceling listen. route guidance. I don't need to listen to her. I, I'm here. No sledding or tubing. All right, so where did this guy go? All right, 
what do we got here? the resort I just don't know where I'm allowed to park <laughs> oh god look at all the snow oh crap Sunday when I went online I went to their website they had an 18 inch base but that was Sunday they got the storm no that was Saturday Sunday they got the storm and it's still snowing so they must have gotten, this looks like at least two feet. So it's going to be at least two feet of powder tomorrow. All right, where do you park around here? All right, I'm going to, uh, I hope I can do a U-turn around here. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh, this is the worker station, I know. Hopefully I can do a three-point turnaround here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do we got over here? Okay, guys. Oh, you can a little bit. Oh, All right, I'm in this parking lot. No, I can't. We got, um, there's about, I don't know, 10 inches of snow in this parking lot. Um, we got, we have two camp, we, get, we got another van over here. Looks like a, uh, Sprinter, just like mine, um, and then we got we got two cars over here, two SUVs over here. I don't know if they're sleeping in there or what the deal is. So I'm gonna park here. I'm gonna spend the night here. We'll see what happens in the morning. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Um, catch you later. Oh man, I feel weird. Just undoing the cushions here on this bench because I had the TV in the back. I was watching the football games yesterday, so I didn't. I wanted to put some of that stuff away. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, back there, it's a mess. So just as a little bit of exertion, moving the cushions, walking back and forth. I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh my freaking word. Um, I'm hoping sleeping up here will help me acclimate a little bit. Um, I don't know. Hopefully I don't have to go back down. But my head, I feel like, I don't know. Just feel weird. I know it's the elevation, so if I stop, if I get a bloody nose or something, I'm out of here. I'm going back down. <laughs> oh, freaking. Okay, I, this is my dinner, potato salad. It's, oh, that stupid camera. Um, it's 10.30, I'm tired. I don't feel like cooking a big meal. I'm kind of munching all day, so it's not like I didn't have anything to eat. So I'm going to have this. I probably shouldn't eat a lot anyway. Because um, I don't know. I don't know what this altitude is going to do to me if I have, you know, if I eat too much. But I want to get a little something in my stomach. Um, 
and I'm gonna drink I'm gonna drink a little bit of water too I think I think I read somewhere that helps um, all right so I don't know we dropped down a little bit couple hundred feet we're at 1100 and um, my hop my my pulse is um, come on focus focus well anyway it says 75 so that's not too bad usually my resting rate is about 55 is usually what I rest at but maybe because I was walking around here and you know the altitude it's uh my uh my pulse is a little bit up okay um so those are my vitals <laughs> okay uh no bloody nose yet no okay all right see you tomorrow or oh, I may just end this video here and I'm going to start a new video tomorrow so you might have to wait a week to figure out what happened to me on this on this mountain all right catch you maybe in the morning maybe next week we'll see one more thing i forgot to tell you it's 10 30 at night it's currently eight degrees above zero fahrenheit and it's only 10.30, so you know it's going down tonight. I think it'll probably go down to maybe 4. It's definitely going to go lower than uh, 6. Because it only has 3 more degrees. No, it's 8. It's only got 2 more degrees to go. And it's definitely going to go down. All right, I just thought I'd throw that in at the end. I just put the thermostat on here. I got it set. I just turned it on. It's going. All right. Oh, I didn't sleep very well. I feel better, a little bit better, but I was really nervous about my breathing. Um, the oxygen was really uh, getting to me, but I don't feel too bad right now. Uh, it's 5 a.m. This guy's doing this section here. So I figured I would uh, get out of his way. I used to plow for years and years, and it used to piss me off big time when there was a car in the middle of a parking lot. Oh, I hated that. A couple of times, I actually plowed them all in. <laughs> I was so friggin' pissed. Uh, so I don't want to be plowed in, so... survived the night. <laughs>